Hello adventurers, welcome aboard with Travel Partner, your guide to exploring the world on a budget. Our mission is simple, to help you discover the wonders of the globe without emptying your wallets. We're all about smart, savvy travel, and we're here to share our top tips, tricks, and insider knowledge. Don't miss out on any of our budget-friendly advice, hit that subscribe button. Today, we're sharing 10 tips for traveling in the heart of Europe, Switzerland, without breaking the bank. So, buckle up and let's get started. Tip number one, plan your trip during the off-peak season. You see, Switzerland, like many other destinations, has a bustling peak season and a quieter off-peak season. Now you may be wondering, why should I travel during the off-peak season? Well, there are a myriad of benefits to this strategy. Firstly, the prices for everything from accommodations to activities drop significantly during these less popular travel periods. This means you can save a considerable amount on your budget and perhaps even afford to stay a little longer or indulge in a few extra experiences. Secondly, fewer tourists visit during the off-peak season, which means less crowded attractions and a more relaxed pace to your trip. Lastly, traveling during off-peak times can offer a more authentic experience. With fewer tourists around, you'll have the chance to mingle with locals and experience the true Swiss culture. Remember, being a little flexible with your travel dates can save you a lot of Swiss francs. Tip number two, make the most of Switzerland's excellent public transportation. You'll find that Switzerland's public transport network is not just punctual, but also incredibly efficient. It covers the length and breadth of the country, making it easy to explore even the most remote Alpine villages. From the fast and frequent trains to the regular buses and scenic boats, you'll be amazed at how easy it is to get around. Traveling by public transport is not only an affordable way to see Switzerland, but it's also a more sustainable choice. It allows you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the breathtaking Swiss scenery without the stress of driving or the cost of fuel. And remember, you're never far from a railway station or a bus stop in Switzerland. So, put your walking shoes on and travel like a local. Because when it comes to exploring Switzerland, the journey is indeed as important as the destination. Tip number three eat at supermarkets. So, you're in Switzerland, land of the cheese fondue and the chocolate, but dining out at restaurants can make your wallet thinner than a slice of Swiss Emmental. Here's a handy trick, head to the local supermarkets. Not only will you find a broad range of fresh local produce at reasonable prices, but you'll also stumble upon ready-made meals that are both delicious and budget-friendly. You can easily assemble a picnic with Swiss cheeses, fresh bread and local fruits, or whip up a simple pasta dish with ingredients from the supermarket. And let's not forget the Swiss chocolates and pastries you can indulge in without breaking the bank. Preparing your meals can be an adventure in itself, offering a chance to experiment with local ingredients and flavors. And who knows, you might discover a new favorite Swiss dish. Tip number four, consider staying in hostels or Airbnb. Now let's talk about accommodations. The cost of staying in hotels can take a big chunk out of your budget, but don't let that deter you. There are plenty of budget-friendly alternatives out there. Hostels, for instance, offer a great way to save money. They're not only cheaper than hotels, but also provide a unique opportunity to meet fellow travelers from around the world. Next, there's Airbnb. This platform allows you to rent a room, an apartment, or even an entire house directly from the owners. It's a brilliant way to live like a local and save some cash at the same time. Plus, you can find all sorts of options to suit your personal style and budget. So don't let the high prices of traditional accommodations stop you from enjoying your trip. Remember, it's not always about where you stay, but what you experience. Tip number five, take advantage of free city tours. Now, isn't that a deal we all love to hear? Switzerland offers a fascinating array of free walking tours in its captivating cities. These tours are an economical way to explore the country's rich history, culture, and architecture, all under the guidance of knowledgeable local guides. Whether you're wandering through the winding lanes of Zurich's Old Town or exploring the vibrant streets of Geneva, these free tours ensure you don't miss out on the hidden gems often overlooked by tourists. They are also a great opportunity to meet fellow travelers and make lasting friendships. In cities like Lucerne and Bern, you also have the option to delve deeper into specific interests with thematic tours. Think food, art, or history. Just remember to show your appreciation to the hardworking guides with a tip if you can. Remember, the best things in life are free. Tip number six, get a Swiss travel pass. This little gem is your key to unlocking the wonders of Switzerland without breaking the bank. Imagine this, unlimited travel on the country's extensive public transport network. Yes, you heard it right. 
unlimited. Trains, buses, boats, even some of the scenic mountain railways, it's all included. And here's the cherry on top. The Swiss Travel Pass also grants you free entry to over 400 museums and attractions. That's like having an all-access pass to the best of Switzerland. Whether you're soaking in the history at the Swiss National Museum or marveling at the breathtaking views from the Schilthorn, it won't cost you an extra dime. So, if you're planning a Swiss adventure, do yourself a favor and get a Swiss travel pass. It's a surefire way to save big and see more. Travel smart, not hard. Tip number seven, pack light. Now you might be questioning, why pack light? Well, let me tell you how it's a game changer. By packing light, you're not just saving on those pesky checked baggage fees. Oh no, it's much more than that. Picture yourself navigating the charming cobblestone streets of Zurich or hiking up the majestic Swiss Alps. Does lugging around a hefty suitcase sound fun in those scenarios? Nope, didn't think so. Packing light gives you mobility, flexibility, and comfort. It allows you to be spontaneous, to hop on a train to Lucerne on a whim, or to explore the hidden gems of Geneva without the burden of a heavy suitcase. It's all about the freedom to move and enjoy the journey, not just the destination. So next time you're preparing for your Swiss adventure, take a moment to consider what you truly need. Do you really need that third pair of shoes or that bulky hairdryer? Think twice, pack once. Remember, every pound counts. Scene script. Tip number eight, use free Wi-Fi. You know, we're living in a digital age where staying connected is as important as having your passport while traveling. But those pesky data roaming charges can often take a serious bite out of your travel budget. So, here's what you can do to save those valuable dollars. When you're in Switzerland or any country for that matter, always try to take advantage of free Wi-Fi. Most hotels, cafes, and even some public spaces offer free Wi-Fi to their customers. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and start scrolling. You can check your emails, update your social media, or even download maps for your next adventure. Not only will you be saving on data costs, but you'll also have the opportunity to interact with locals and fellow travelers. You never know, you might just get that insider tip for your next destination. Stay connected without the extra cost. Scene script. Tip number nine, buy souvenirs at supermarkets. Now, when you think of souvenirs, you probably envision miniature Eiffel Towers or Statue of Liberty keychains. But in Switzerland, we're going to do things a little differently. Instead of shelling out your hard-earned cash at overpriced tourist shops, why not head to the local supermarket? You see, supermarkets in Switzerland are treasure troves of unique and authentic items that make for perfect souvenirs. Think Swiss chocolates, local cheeses, or even a bottle of Swiss wine? Not only will these items give you a real taste of Switzerland, but they're also much more affordable. Plus, they're consumable, which means you don't have to worry about them gathering dust on a shelf when you get home. And the best part? These supermarkets are everywhere, so you won't have to go out of your way to find one. So go ahead, explore the aisles, and find those perfect, budget-friendly souvenirs. Take home a piece of Switzerland without breaking the bank. Tip number 10, drink tap water. In many parts of the world, tap water may not be the safest choice. But let me assure you, in Switzerland, it's a different story. The tap water here isn't just safe, it's some of the best in the world. It's clean, it's fresh, and it's free. You see, the Swiss take great pride in their water. It's sourced from natural springs in the Alps and undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it's of the highest quality. So when you turn on that tap in your hostel or Airbnb, know that you're getting pristine Alpine spring water without paying a single cent. Now, imagine how much you could save by simply refilling your water bottle instead of buying a new one every time. It's not just good for your wallet, it's also a great way to reduce plastic waste. Stay hydrated and save your coins. So there you have it, 10 tips to explore Switzerland on a budget. We've covered traveling during off-peak seasons, using public transport, eating at supermarkets, and opting for hostels or Airbnbs. We've also discussed the benefits of free city tours, the Swiss travel pass, packing light, utilizing free Wi-Fi, buying souvenirs at supermarkets, and the advantage of drinking tap water. Remember, with a little planning and smart choices, you can have an amazing Swiss adventure without breaking the bank. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more budget travel tips from your travel partner. Happy travel!